This is the IKEA Cura bed, the parts. These are the slats for the mattress, some stair slats and side panel slats. The overall of the main parts of the bed. Um, behind the metal railings is the main um, parts. These are for the side panels, making sure to focus on these pieces because it's important to know their orientation. And these uh, you will need to know in order to um, assemble them that there's some with two notches, there's some with one notch, and there is one with no notch. And you'll be able to tell which ones you'll need as you assemble it. So here we are assembling the bed. The first is the side uh, panels of the bed, the right and left side. Uh, this is um, where you put into effect the right notch and no notch and two notch uh, panels so you can put in those white, um, slide in those white slabs through. Uh, this is the other side of the bed side panel that needs to be assembled. Also using those with one no notch and two notches. These are the front and back of the bed. One will be slightly longer, one will be slightly shorter, uh, mostly because the back of it uses um, the entire length of the bed and the other one is shorter because it will be attached to the stairs of the bed. We are assembling the bed upside down, so don't be surprised. Here we are putting the right panel, the first panel we assembled, and then the left panel, and then that long panel in the back. And the shorter panel goes in the front, and you will you can tell now that that's where the um, stairs are going to be attached to. So here we are putting the stairs to the bunk bed together. then you will be using the longest um, pieces that you have. And this will be the bottom of the bed. The metal railing is pretty easy to assemble uh, or put in, but just make sure to use that extension that the little um, tool comes with. It'll make it a lot easier to be able to screw it in. Now we flip the bed upside down at this point and we put in the slabs for the mattress. These little white notches, there are extra ones in the bag in case they break. They're pretty easy to put in, uh, but you will have extra just so you know. And this is the final product. We're done. This is what it should look like. We put the stairs on the right hand side because our son, we were afraid that he could try to jump and maybe pull the cord from the window next on the other side.